My laptop is getting a bit long in the tooth. I've been using it for almost 10 years now, it's crazy. Still, it meets almost all my needs, even if it's a bit slow at times. The main problem is the fan, which gets really annoying when it goes full tilt. It gets really loud. Two years ago, you saw me replace the thermal paste and undervolt my CPU, but some of you guys suggest that I should just get a new fan, as these new ones are supposedly better. Well, two years later, I'll be the judge of that, and this will also give us an opportunity to see how good of a job I did applying that thermal paste. We're starting by opening the laptop. Depending on your laptop, this might be easier or harder. Follow a guide online, I recommend I fix it, and take it slow. You can see since my last video, I added thermal pads between the cooler and the laptop's chassis. This allows the CPU to transfer heat through the chassis, and it does work. I noticed a significant delay in the fan ramping up after I did this. The downside of this is the bottom of the laptop gets pretty damn hot. In my case, since the laptop is lifted when it's open, it's not too bad. But if you like using your laptop in your lap, I wouldn't recommend this. If that's not your case and your laptop isn't too hard to open, go for it. If you can, try to get an uncut sheet of this and cut it yourself to size. Buying it in these small squares was a mistake. If you want to go even further, you can replace the thermal paste in your CPU and GPU. I did this last time and I'm doing it again, but I don't know if I would recommend it. You get a small improvement in temperatures, but you're also putting in a lot more effort taking your laptop apart. Plus, these thermal pastes you buy are made to get the best performance, not the best longevity, like the stock one your laptop comes with. That said, if you're already taking your laptop apart, like I am to replace the fan, and you see the paste is dry, replace it. Clean what's already on there and drop a small bit of thermal paste on the CPU and GPU. It's better to overdo it than to add too little, but don't go overboard. Remember when you add the cooler back on top, the paste will be squished down and spread. I maybe added too much. I used Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, but any known brand is fine. Pay attention to buy thermal paste and not liquid metal. Liquid metal is liquid and conductive, and in something like a laptop which you're gonna be moving a lot is not a good idea unless you know what you're doing. What I would recommend doing is undervolting your laptop. I did an awful job explaining what it is last time so I'm gonna do it now. By undervolting your CPU, your feeding is slightly less voltage but to a point where it still gets the same or very close performance and is still stable. This reduces the CPU's energy consumption and it doesn't heat up as much. It's a win-win, but you're messing with important stuff, so take your time, don't immediately jump to high values. I used Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility for this, but you can also use something like Throttle Stop. I started reducing the core voltage offset in small increments and did a stress test each time I did that. At negative 75 millivolts, everything was seemingly fine, but under heavy loads, the laptop would blue screen, so I rolled back to negative 70 millivolts. Depending on your laptop, you might have to launch this program every time you start up Windows to keep the undervolt. You can set up a task to do that automatically. But the easiest thing you can do to get a better performance out of your laptop is just disabling crap. Disable stuff that starts with your laptop but you don't need. And about this fan replacement. It's broken. Give it a listen. I think I got unlucky. It wobbles and the fins scrape against the metal in the cooler, that's the sound you're hearing. I chose the title for this video before this. I jinxed myself, that's what happened. I still hope you learned something. I sure did. I learned to, uh, um, subscribe.